Welcome to Cypher Slab. This is the Unstable Mod Pack, 112, Episode 5. So, as promised, I have finished off the tutorials for Psy. Uh, a tip, the spells don't actually have to work. I mean, it's good if you can get them to work, but some of them you can just, you know, output it directly to a to debug. It doesn't have to do anything, just as long as you use whatever spell component they're asking you to in the tutorial, you're, you're good. As long as it does something, you're good. So, got that done. Now I would like to make the... Well, I'd like to make up a nice... Uh, a nice gun. The highest tier I can go to right now is Psy Metal, because the Ebony and Ivory I don't have access to yet. Uh, seems to be the I think this one is... I can't remember. I know one is made in the end. I can't even look up the, the recipe for it. I remember seeing it somewhere down here, but whatever. We're going to go with this high metal for now. I think that's, that's probably good enough. So I just kind of want to make the, the highest highest grade gun that I can reasonably make at the moment. Right. So let's just grab some iron, some redstone, and some gold. So, make up a core. Alright. So here's a, an interesting one. We can have a bandwidth of 9 and only have 10 spells, or we can have 12 spells but only a bandwidth of 8. I'm going to go with this one. L mostly just because it uses redstone instead of glowstone, but also because I think having the extra bandwidth will be beneficial down the road. Largest battery. Another thing you can do is you can put in. Uh, colorizers here, and it'll change the colors of your spell. Um, it's You don't have to, it's not important, but actually I want, to try, I want this one. So there's even one here that's a full spectrum, and it'll just change between colors. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, that should take care of the gun, actually. Excellent. So, I've already got a couple spells. You can go online, and you can find them. There's a Reddit page that has a whole bunch of spells, and you can just hold shift and import them here from Clipboard. Um, I can actually... Let's see if I can grab one here. Yeah. Of course not. Um, so, if I shift-click now, it'll just import it. And this one here is for Silk Touch. Wow, that portal is very loud and obnoxious. Very. Okay. I've already got a bunch of spells made up here. Um, I want that one. That one. Some of these are for armor, which we'll be getting to in a sec. Others are for... And then there's some yet that I just uh, haven't really decided on yet. And then a few more that I, was, I just wanted to see what the spell looked like. And then I copied them to a spell drive. So a spell drive is used to store a spell. Alright, so I could take that. Let's just let's make up a spell drive here. Right quick. So if I come over here, I can hold shift and right click. And now the spell is stored on here. And that way, whenever I want to say I clear this, so you control shift delete, right? So there's nothing in there now, right? But I can put the spell back just by shift right clicking again. So they're, they're kind of handy to have. Uh, you can also set up multiple spell programmers and just leave them in the spell programmer if you want, but this way it's just seems a little cleaner. So. 
And now we've got a side bridge, a move and look, which is kind of like a very cheap form of uh, blink. And it, this one is just fun. This is an explode. Um, I wish I had it in the spell programmer so I could show you what it does, but and this will have to do. So if I come out here, right, you can see that there's some red dots ahead here. Which means probably zombies and skeletons. Zombies! Yep. So it casts a circle on the ground, which is set to scan for enemy, any enemy within a 25 block radius and cause an explosion at their feet. Now granted, this also destroys the terrain, as you just saw, but... I could lower the explosion down a bit, and then it wouldn't, but I, I don't care enough to bother, because in my area where it's claimed, explosions are disabled, so it's not a problem. And if I'm anywhere else, eh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, so let's make some armor up. Uh, do we got enough? We do not have enough. I'm going to need a few more diamonds here. Yeah, that looks good. And we're gonna need another spell drive. So there are multiple er spell drive, a spell bullet. There's multiple types of spell bullets. The one that I just showed you with the, the explosions is actually a circle spell. But there's loop casts, there's projectiles, grenades, charges, mines. The two that I use the most are the spell circle and the spell bullet. These other ones <sighs> Projectile I don't know, it just never seems to work the way I think it should. So I always wind up with uh, <clears throat> problems. <laughs> so I don't use it too often. Um, in fuse, this one. And I need a spell bullet. So put the spell bullet in there. Grab some diamonds, huck them on the ground. Boom! Yeah. Alright, so let's make the helmet. Chest piece. Legs. And boots. Okay. Oh, what happened? So. Not on that. Oh, right, right. right. We'll throw it in there. Okay. So I want a light sensor, so I need glowstone. Should have everything for that. I'm definitely gonna have to get some more glowstone here. Hopefully we have another now, so and I think that's it actually. At least for the moment. Alright, so if we put Yeah, there we go. Okay. So if we put the helmet in there, I want... I put it? Lights. There it is. Lights. And in the chest piece, I want regeneration. So it just casts regen 1 for, I think it's 46 seconds or something like that. It's pretty low tier. And then, I don't know if I'm going to continue to use the magnet spell in here because it, it's a constant drain on your side, but we'll see. Yeah. No. Oh, definitely not going to. Let's see. That's handy. Alright. Um, maybe down the road I, I can... Work on it, make it a little, make it take less power to run it, but for now. Uh, let's just throw them in here. My long term, don't really need it right now, storage spot. <laughs> Alright, let's throw this in here. Alright, looks good, right? I don't want dirt over here. Okay, so. What is this going to do? So the chest piece, anytime I get hit by whatever, uh, skeleton, zombie, it's just going to cast regen on me. 
Actually, it's any time I take damage. So, let's, uh... So we got regeneration for a couple seconds. Which is cool. And the one in the helmet, anytime the light level drops down to a, a level where zombies and stuff can spawn, it's going to put down a little light orb. Should have a dark spot down here somewhere. Oh, I know. There you go. And that's what it's going to do. <laughs> Super annoying right now. Okay. So if I get rid of that, as I'm walking forward, see, it puts a little... Very weird. I, I seem to remember being a little more smooth than that, but... Whatever. So this will be helpful when I'm mining, so I won't have to worry about placing down torches. So I can just you know, grab my hammer, I guess, and just go ham. Just walk forward, break the blocks. And as you can see, it's already placing light down for me. Alright. And then, of course, in here we've got... Oops. Um, explode. The side bridge here. This is cool. It just places down a block. It's a little bit wonky. I'm gonna see if I can fix it up. It's, it's really, really, really weird in the way it works. But it just makes blocks that are temporary. You can use them to walk across lava or whatever. Alright, so let's put this stuff away. So at least we got some armor now. That's good. Some, well, we had armor before. We had copper. <laughs> so the other thing I want to do is make a few more Tinker's tools. Alright, so let's, let's see. I would like to make the lumber axe and the some kind of bow. I haven't really decided whether a crossbow or what, but some kind of bow would be good. Well, maybe we'll skip the bow, because we do have this thing, which we'll deal with pretty much any enemy we can come across. But the lumber axe and probably a mat talk would be good. Let's see, Matt Talk, what do we need? We need axe, head, shovel, and tool rod. We have those in there, good enough. Axe head, shovel, and tool rod. Alright. So, I set this thing up here. Oops, let's, uh... Just, it's a simple auto-processing. There's just a hopper that pulls out the ingots when they form. I'm going to take it out for now. I want to use this for crafting some stuff, so... I'm uh, going to need some gold. I think it's two ingots per cast. Let's find out in a sec here. If it's not, I can always add more. that out. And where we got we got four? Yeah, okay, so it's two ingots per. That's cool. So um, for the math talk I'm thinking just iron. So two, one I think this one's two as well. I need one more piece of iron. So I think I'm just going to be lazy with the math talk, because I need it more for the farm, for hoeing out the ground and whatnot, so it's not going to really be used for chopping down trees, that's what the lumber axe is going to be for. So, lumber axe, what do we need for that? We need tough tool rod, and tough tool rod, where is it? Lumber axe. There it is. So, plate. 
Buckle rod, we're gonna need a binding and the head. Um, the stencil table, we're gonna need the tough binding and the axe head. Adam's chest, throw it in there. And the head and the tough binding. Probably won't gold anymore. Okay, good. I thought for a second I had accidentally made two of them and I was like, oh no, I'll have to smelt it down again. <laughs> so, tool rod, axe head, and the shovel head go in there. Um, actually, I guess I needed the gold, didn't I? Two. Should have smelted that up while we were waiting. Not bad. I'm oh, sorry. Um, okay, so we got the rod, the tool, and the plate. That was it. We needed. So now, what are we going to do? This. I'm thinking the head is going to be iron. All right. So I'll move the head, and you're going to help. So I'm thinking the head will be iron. The handle is going to be copper. The binding can be... matter. Use Constantine because I got some of it, so... How much do I need? I need eight. Okay. Eight. Put in the iron and the copper. Just pour that one. We have that. We have that. Put this iron away. And then the binding. I think the binding and the plate can be constantly. There. Constant. And. Constant. And. Whatever. Three and eight. So that in there. And the head. Some iron. Put that in there. Okay, so the, it is this stuff. So we got the head down. Should have the stuff out of here. We go to our tool forge. Next shovel. Magnetic three. And so the head is done. We wanted the handle to be made out of copper. And then the rest of it can just be made out of that other stuff. Perfect. It's a little while. Come on. Perfect. Left. Come here. Tool. And. Nice. Your ability, once again, isn't really all the greatest, so let's grab a couple diamonds. Tool forge. Stick a diamond on that one. I'll stick a diamond on that one. So I'm thinking for the lumber axe, I just 
kind of want it to be quicker. And I need another modifier for that. Okay. And for the hoe, or the math hawk, I don't think I need to worry about anything. I think that's good enough. Um, however, I am running out of space in my inventory all the time, so let me make one of these. Can. Good. Okay. Wasn't sure if this crafting station was going to work or if I had to make a vanilla one. So what else did we need? We needed some more gold and some chests. Okay. Six gold and two chests. Perfect. Oh, thank you. I can put this stuff away. Oh, that away too. Uh oh. Okay, that's kind of obnoxious, but there we go. Oops. That can go there, that can go there. I want that there, that there. I don't even really need torches anymore, but... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just throw them down anyways. Perfect. Alright. So now that we got some of our tools sorted out... We got some armor. I, I kind of want to get our storage system and crafting a little bit better. So, this thing, by the way, is running. So, the builder does not auto-output into these uh, transfer nodes. Right. So I had to put a drum on top here, which of course is now, as you can see, just full pretty much all the time, because this runs fairly quickly, apparently. And these transfer nodes are the deciding factor. They are slow. Painfully slow. But it's running. I've since hooked up the... Uh, trash can here, just to avoid the water, because we got infinite water, so I don't really need it. Um, and then, of course, the lava and the destabilized redstone are back there. Uh, but, I want to get more storage, so I'm thinking refined storage. Alright, I'd like to have... Everything in one place and one central crafting, it, it just makes life so much simpler, you know? So I'm thinking we'll do refined storage. I do want to do applied energistics as well. But what I think I'm going to do is the main focus will be storage, and I'll use refined storage just because it's a lot cheaper, it's a lot easier to get started with this, as opposed to applied energistics. But what I'll do is I want to see if I can't cram the two together down the road. Right, because Applied Energistics also has some pretty fun stuff that we could play with, but this just seems so much cheaper. So, to get started we're going to need some quartz, so let's head to the nether and see what we can find. Uh, I should have made a spell to dig as well. I also put a pump over here, the ranged pump from prior, hooked up to lava, and oh wow, it's already full. That's, that's good news. Alright, so let's test this thing out here. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we'll know how to get back, right? Grab our Hama, because I wouldn't mind some nether rack as well. Ah, um, probably, ah. 
Or it's to you. I win. Um, I got probably enough netherrack. Don't need the little fleshy thing. My only complaint with this place is it's really hard to navigate when you can't fly. I wonder if I can't make something fly. Flight. Okay, we're way off, ways off from that. Um. I don't think we can make that. I think we have to find it. Yeah. Um. Ooh, there's a winner. I mean, it, it's not flight, but the hand glider is you know, better than nothing. At least I'd be able to go straight across from here over there. Um. Let's see. I know there's some cobalt around here somewhere. I saw it. I wouldn't mind grabbing that. Oh, I just saw it. There it is. Right over there. Hmm, I can't even mind that. So I'm guessing I need to make like a a steel pick upgrade or something. Hmm. Let's head back, we'll make the glider if we can, and I wanna take a look and see what we need to mine cobalt. Let's start with this. Diamond. Iron, stone, cobalt, infused iron, obsidian level, is steel. Hmm. I'm guessing we need a uh, cobalt level to mine the, or the, let's try this again, obsidian level to mine cobalt, and once you get cobalt then you can, you can make that into a, a cobalt pick which will allow you to mine the rest. That's my guess. I might be all wrong. Eh, we're a little ways away from making steel, I think, so let's just grab, um, other streaks and iron. Okay. One of them. One of them. One of them. And one of them. Sweet. Okay. Uh, definitely gonna need more storage space though. Let's head back. Yeah, I put some blocks across there so you don't accidentally walk off into the you know, pit of death below. Okay, so just right click will activate it. I don't know if these guys count as enemies or if they're just neutrals. Probably count as enemies though. That's, that's generally how this game works. It, it, it's like, no, they're not going to attack you, but they're still going to try to kill you. So They're enemies. The soul sand? Soul stone, okay. That's, um. Uh, different. I don't 
little tiny bit of quartz. So we can't find some more. Oh, so this doesn't last forever. Hmm. Good to know. I may have stranded myself on this side of the. Huh. I guess I can always make up Rich Cross or something. Never truly stranded, I guess, in this game. This stuff is used for. Let's see here. Cobalt soul stone can be smelted into soul stone, which can be used to make weatherproof blocks. Ooh. They like. They like. It can be used to make soul dust, which is used to make a blank skull. Okay, that that's cool. I mean, I haven't seen any bone yet, but still cool. All right. Well, I don't really need that stuff yet. And if I do happen to need a bunch of it, I might just set up like a builder quarry in here and let it try to go. Ow! Okay, before I go breaking more, um, they're used for making orange dye. Uh, huh, of course they are. That's that's big. That figures. Just should burn me for getting even close to them. Um. I do like having the you know plant life and stuff in the Nether as well. It's, it's a nice change. What was that quartz? Pyrite. Okay. High right dust. What's this used for? You get sulfur and iron. Okay. Well, then I don't need to dig more of that up. Gosh, I got almost a stack. I'd like to find a little bit more. I'd like at least a stack to get started. So, let's see if there's some over here. I just realized that I did not mark where the portal is. Oh, it's just over there. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Well, I mean. Thank you, but, um... But I thought I was good, honest. I was pretty sure there was more of over here somewhere. Walk down this cave. If I don't find any more, I'll just head back. So, what is the real quartz? 
stuff. And on something solid before we start digging moss. <laughs> There's a giant lake of lava down there, you know? Let's, let's head back and start crafting some stuff up. Actually, I think we're gonna have to call it an episode real quick. Like. Yeah, we're we're past the wrapping up point here. So I think next episode we will try to get the refined storage system up and operational. The flower of death can go in there too. And I I don't know what we're going to use for storage. I don't think we need to make ref uh, 64 Ks. Like, if we were doing applied energistics, I wouldn't even bother. But with this mod, because applied energistics has a limit of 63 types of items, right? This one doesn't. This is just, you get 64k of storage. Hmm. Let's just see what's involved with these. <laughs> Yeah, iron, silicon. Okay, so hmm. it's it's not bad. Okay, so that's gold, iron, and silicon. I don't get silicon actually. Surface dust. It's pretty rough. So off camera, I am going to do a ton of mining. At least I'm going to try to, and see if I can't get. A lot of this sort of sports. I've got a small amount of it in here, but I'd like a lot more. So, as always, I thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.